This one comes with a whole bunch of random things inside. Let's uh, pop it on camera for a second so we can see. There's a load of random stuff. There's a QR code there. There's some different stickers to go on the cartridge, which is cool. I don't know why there would be, because they look the same as the one that's already on there. There's the cart. And it also looks like there's some sort of Game Boy camera photo thing that's like a postcard of a bench, which is pretty neat. And if you want to check out the artist behind it, there you go, Rembrandt. Lee Compt. I probably said that horribly wrong. And uh, yeah, he was really kind and sent me this over and he even wrote a little note to go along with it. So let's, for the last half an hour or so, check out what this game's like. Hopefully it's better than Melon Journey, which was a big disappointment. Literally, there was nothing going on in that game. Oh yeah, I need to go back on the main screen. Here we go. Uh, okay, A slash alt, cursor slash next, B slash control back, start slash enter menu. Uh, okay. One day while looking for your favourite pipe, you trip over a loose curtain and fall into a painting, or was it a window? Now you must collect items to exchange for your pipe and find your way home. Oh my god, that went way too fast. Select character, I can either be a silhouette, a man in a coat, a chess piece with, with an eye? A cyclops chess piece? A walking fish? A... Curtain with hair? Uh, what's going on here? Uh, I'll be I'll be the chess piece with an eye, because that's kind of weird. Use your cursor, A, to discover and collect items. Use every tool item you find. Ah, too late. Fish was my second choice. I'm just going to have a bit of chocolate. Oh, I've got some really nice chocolate here. Look, white chocolate Tonys. Mm. Look at this. So good. That's my weekend treat. Unlock a new treasure. What? Okay, this is weird, so... I can move around, as normal. No, white chocolate's the best. Mm, this one's so good. It's got like raspberry and popping candy in it too. Oh, you can just teleport. Wow. Again, I don't understand the point, but maybe it's too early to say. We are surrounded by curtains. We only perceive the world behind a curtain of semblance. At the same time, an object needs to be covered in order to be recognised at all. What? I don't understand what's going on on this. Hmm. 
We always want to see what is hidden by what we see. What? What's going on? An object is not so attached to its name that we cannot find another one that would suit it better. Strangest tree I've ever seen. Strangest game I've ever played? What is this? Like someone's weird dream mashed together. Yeah, if the dream of translation... If the dream is a translation of waking life, waking life is also a translation of the dream. Okay, we've got some other chess pieces. There's an object stuck between... If I can use something to get it out. I don't think I've got anything. Take! It's not that simple. I do have something. I have an axe. Okay. As you strike with the axe, a bell falls out of the bolster. It's been added to your infantry. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. What's that for? Axe not for whom the bell tolls. Is anyone else just confused by this? I get it, it's meant to be artistic and probably say something deeper than what's on the surface, but... You don't need to be so cryptic, it's a Game Boy game. Can I not do anything? No. And now there's windows in the sky. The art of painting cannot be really limited to describing an idea which shows a certain resemblance to the visible that the world offers us. Size rock, good for throwing. Okay, there's something on that one. Can I take it? Yeah, got a rock. Don't hit anyone in the eye. Okay, there's a pirate ship. Art evokes the mystery without which the world would not exist. What? What is that weird animation? And then you can just walk past it again. Okay, can I inspect it? What is that? I can see the ocean from here. Okay, I don't know what I'm jumping over. Maybe? I'm stuck here now. Whoa! What the hell is this? I think the bird would be happier outside the cage. To open it? Can I... We don't have the right tool. Okay. What does everyone think of this game so far? Hmm. 
We've already been here. I guess we have to go inside the house and explore now. Let's try going this way. That's new. Okay, we went through the wardrobe, apparently. Yeah, I don't really understand what this game's trying to do or say. Like, it seems like a lot of effort was put into it, but it's very obtuse. Looks like there's something behind the curtain. You found a hunting rifle. <laughs> what? Better point it up at the clouds so no one gets hurt. I think the Tetris game was best. Yeah, me too. At least that one was fun. Melon Journey just seemed completely pointless, and this one just seems way too abstract. Like, only the developer could actually know what they're trying to say with this. Point the rifle at the sky, maybe? It said something about that. Can I just look up? Yeah, there's no context for anything that's going on here. Can I shoot this guy with a rifle? Like... No. I really don't understand this at all. Let's see what the instructions say. Oh, there are none. It's just a picture. It's just a picture of a bench. Um, here's my homebrew game. Hope you include it. I also included two box. Even his note to me doesn't explain anything. Uh, it just says find the tools you need to uncover five treasures and retrieve your favourite pipe. Every game you start, the items are distributed randomly, so every game remains fun and challenging. There's 30 different scenes. Uh, I'm honestly just lost at this point. Yeah, I don't mind abstract stuff. Like It's interesting to look at, but in terms of a game, I don't... I just don't get it. I think maybe the developer fell into the trap of, as he was making it, he obviously understood everything, and then presumed everyone else would too, without actually testing it at all. I have a rock, I have a rifle, what can I do with them? Uh, I've only got ten more minutes, I guess I can try and figure out what to do. Uh, use tool? Okay, I guess there's just nothing we can do there. I'll stick out for another 10 minutes, see if we can decipher anything. Oh, there's a cave. That's new. Okay, can I look at them? I already have a rock. Okay, there are some eggs. <clears throat> Better not touch those in case the mother comes back. I suppose so. More giant chess pieces. I think they are, anyway. Okay, we're at the house again. Can we go in the door? No. Can I... interact? Or use a tool, maybe? No. Just nope. 
I can go in this one. Is that the house I was in before? Yeah, I think I've already been here. That's where I got the rock from. Anyone got any idea what I'm supposed to be doing? Let's use tool. No. It doesn't even give you the option to select one. I think we've already been in there. Do we go back in again? Maybe. What about here? There's some curtains that don't go anywhere. I guess that's where the rifle came from, wasn't it? There's a brick wall. There's a painting. Oh, I've already done that. What about use tool? There's nothing you can do. And that's it. It's just looped around again. And for some reason you're in the house there and then you're just straight outside again. But you're also outside if you go out here. Oh, we found a bigger building. I didn't see this one before. Is there anything to interact with? No. <clears throat> oh, okay. Creepy. Just hanging around. What does the guy above the door have to say? Who's the guy above the door? This guy? That's a nice hat. I wonder if it would fit me. It's not that simple. You don't have anything to use. Okay. Looks like there's a hinge on this frame. Open. You found an umbrella. You just need a hat to finish the outfit. It's been added to your inventory. Okay. There's something there. Can I throw a rock at it? Oh no, you knocked out the pupil, but wait, there is an apple behind it. It's been added to the inventory, okay. Yeah, we got to use the rock. And swapped it for an apple, apparently. Is that the same room I was in before? Okay. There's an umbrella with a cup on the top. Maybe I don't know enough about art to appreciate this game. Uh, can I do anything? Do I need to use the umbrella that I just got? No, I guess it's just there. Okay, and we have a mountain range with something there. Looks fluffy, I kind of want a piece of it. Try everything, I guess. You shot a piece of a cloud. It's been added to your inventory. That's what a piece of cloud looks like up close. Okay. We have a cloud. Cloud acquired. Mm. The panel's loose. Hey, we're making a lot of progress. Okay. Now we have a key, we can go and free that bird outside. Now I need to figure out what level of outside it is, because there's a few different scrolling sections. <coughs> hey, I was right, there it is. Okay. Use the tool. You unlocked the cage and found a feather. It's been added to your infantry. Where's the actual bird then? I just stole its feather apparently. Now what? Now I've got a bunch of random things. 
A bunch of new random things. Uh, okay, I've got a feather. There doesn't really seem to be any point in collecting these things. Something here. No. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying. I'm, I didn't just want to turn it on and go. Eh, it's not for me. But I think half an hour is a reasonable amount of time to try something out and see whether you gel with it or not, isn't it? Let's see, use tool, nope. Use tool. I don't know what to do. None of these games have a map or anything either, so you can't really tell how the rooms connect. I keep wanting to go up there, there's nothing there. just now. Well, I've only got four minutes and then I need to go anyway, so we'll keep going, see whether we make any more progress in the next four minutes or not. And depending on what I'm doing tomorrow, I might come back tomorrow and try out uh, try out these two. I haven't played either of these yet. Alice Sisters, a Game Boy Advance one, and Escape 2042, which is a Game Boy action game, which should be fun. So we'll save them ones for tomorrow. I don't really understand anything that's happening in this one though, unfortunately. There was a weird noise just then. Uh, I'm just back in here again. Do that glitch then. No, it's just broken. Oh yeah, can we get that guy his hat now? Uh, he used an umbrella to knock off someone's hat. Something else is happening. Oh, okay. And now we have a pipe. Falling from the sky. Your pipe has been returned to you. You must find the secret location and un unlock the exit. Okay, maybe we are getting somewhere. Is that going to be the end of the game? I guess I should keep going a little bit longer then, just in case. The bricks were on this wall somewhere, right? Maybe? Maybe somewhere else. I don't think they're out here. no idea where I'm going. Uh, do I already have the pipe? No. Oh, is that all that's in here? Just these two walls? Oh, 
I don't know how to get back to where the pipe was on the wall. It, I think it's close to these trees. I need to go inside somehow. In here? Way. There it is. Okay. Take. It's not that simple. Of course not. That's a familiar looking shape. Uh... Oh, I did already have the pipe. I just need to put it in the wall. Okay, now the wall opened up. And there's a very scary shadow. Let's walk through and go home. Uh, I'm not going to try and say that. Oh, we finished it! There we go! Game complete! Uh, it was worth sticking with it, I guess. I have no idea what that was all about, though. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed taking a look at that. The Empire of Dreams. Um, I, I really don't know what to think of that. It exists. <laughs> there we go. We finished one. And I'm going to end the stream there. So hopefully you guys had fun watching.